Telic Inton, a name whispered by the river, cradled by the ancient soil of Purrock, here, where time weaves its tapestry, stands a town a quiet symphony of lives and stories. It's the third largest town in Purrock, yet it wears its size with grace, a place where the past and present dance a waltz of memories and aspiration. And amidst this gentle rhythm, our gaze turns toward a beacon of beautiful church, its spires reach for the heavens, etching prayers into the cerulean sky. St Anthony's Church, a sanctuary where whispers echo, where hands clasp in reverence, its walls witnesses to births, weddings and tearful farewells. In 1894, a French missionary named Reverend Father René Michel Marie Fee acquired a humble plot of land. There, he crafted a wooden chapel a cradle for faith. But life, like a tempest, tests our devotion. In 1914, flames devoured the original chapel, yet, from the ashes, hope emerged a phoenix of resilience. On May 7, 1922, the foundation stone for the new church was laid. Bricks, prayers and dreams intertwined. And on May 6, 1923, under the watchful eyes of Bishop Jean-Marie Merrill, the church stood a testament to unwavering hearts. Today, within these hallowed walls, languages blend a chorus of Tamil, English, Mandarin, and Malay, souls find solace, seeking answers in stained glass and candlelight. And who is this St. Anthony of Padua? Born as Fernando Martins de Bulhis, he transcends time. His swift canonization less than a year for his passing speaks of miracles and grace. So, my friends, let us honor this legacy. A bridge between mortal hands and the divine, may St. Anthony's light guide us, even when shadows lengthen. Thank you for joining me on this pilgrimage of words. May blessings be our companions, and may this church continue to cradle dreams. The Church of St. Anthony of Padua since 1923.